Jason DeLorenzo, earlier today, the GW president says that someone broke into that fraternity home on 22nd Street and destroyed that to uh, uh, Torah scroll, among other things, and that alone sparked this rally that we're seeing here on campus right now. They are standing with the Jewish community and against any form of anti-Semitism. Using their voices as their swords and support as their shield. George Washington University students and Jewish groups on campus fighting back against what they call an act of hate. There are students who feel attacked. This show of solidarity starting at the steps of Tall Kappa Epsilon, where around 2 a.m. on Sunday, members returned from a night out celebrating Halloween to find a nightmare of their own. The inside the house had been um, messed with. There was hot sauce thrown on the on the walls. Children had been poured on the floor. Fire alarms had been ripped out of the wall. Among the vandalized was a Taurus scroll doused in laundry detergent. How it was destroyed quickly sparking outrage among groups. The university president condemns what happened and says any act of anti-Semitism is an attack on the entire GW community. I, I really, really feel horrible for the Jewish members in my fraternity. The chapter's president says about a quarter of the members make up the fraternity. While police are investigating the incident, he believes it was anti-Semitic, claiming other religious texts, including a Bible in the house, remained untouched. Honestly, I went in there and, and there's a lot of hurt. Rabbi Yuri Steiner lending his support to the Jewish brothers. Uh, He's helping with the rally, taking a Torah throughout the streets. What this incident symbolizes is an attack on Judaism's holiest artifact. Israel, I'm Israel, I'm and we are responding with more Judaism and more pride and more conviction and more Torah. And the university says there are now more patrols in the area after this incident, as well as several GW staff staying in that house. And in response and in their request, the Anti-Defamation League is now a part of this case. Reporting live at GW, I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. All right, Matthew, thank you. And of course, while we wait to see if those hate crime charges are filed in this case, we want to put some of those numbers into context for you. The FBI tracks hate crimes, and here's what we can verify. In 2020, the FBI counted more than 8,200 incidents of hate crimes. More than 1,200 incidents were directed at victims on the basis of religion. The majority, about 55% of religion-based crimes, targeted those observing the Jewish faith. A total of 683 incidents, which included vandalism, intimidation, and assault. Now, that is the lowest number of anti-Semitic incidents reported to the FBI since 2015. But on average, that is still one to two anti-Jewish hate crimes every day. Hmm.